Welcome to Yes TV. I'm Sonia and I'm here to talk to you all about engineering. And today we're going to chat to Rachel Gannon, Engineers Ireland Engineer of the Year finalist. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hi, Sonia. How are you? Lo lovely to see you. I'm good. Um, so thanks very much for agreeing to chat to us today and tell all the young people about your career and why you are interested in engineering. No problem. I'm happy to be here, Sonia. Fab. So I guess I'll just start and say, what, why did you cho choose engineering? So I chose engineering because in school, I really liked maths and I really liked science. I also had a few engineers in my family and they said, if you like maths and science, then this could be this could be the path for you. What an engineer does is they kind of solve problems and it's about the application of maths and science to solve those problems. Oh, that's great, thanks. And um, so you went to college, yeah, and you studied engineering. So uh, what was your degree in? So my degree was in civil engineering. So civil engineering mm. is infrastructure engineering. So when you go outside and you see a building, someone's designed that building. Someone's done some calculations and some maths to see how, how strong that building needs to be. And when you look at the road, someone's designed the roads to see how much concrete you need within each of the different elements. But as I went into my career, I got interested in different aspects of engineering too. Oh, cool. And it, um, so where, where did you start working then? So I started working in a company called Arup Consulting Engineers. So there I would have been designing roads and designing infrastructure. But as I progressed, I would have got much more involved in technology. And I recently took up a job, or in the past year, I suppose, I took up a job in Accenture, where as an engineer, I very much solve technology problems and really look to solve problems that clients bring in terms of in, in terms of any problems and the applications of technologies to solve those problems. Great. That sounds like a very interesting job. What it do you like good. most about that job? I like to help people. That's the most important thing to me. So if I can help mm. anyone, clients, business, or anyone at all solve any problems they have, I'm, I'm happy to help and I'm eager to do so. Oh, that's so great. Um, I hear that you like working with young people. Can you tell me a bit more like that, about that? I, definitely, no problem. So I have three younger brothers who at times can be a little bit annoying, but I love them anyway. But I love working with young people because I think they're inspiring. I think it's also so exciting because they bring new aspects and new ideas to things. They're also very on top of what's currently cool and what's coming next. Yeah, that's so true. That's so true. So like um, volunteering with young people, why do, why do you think the, um, what are the benefits of STEM for young people? Definitely. The benefits of STEM, there's lots of benefits of STEM, but certainly mm. un understanding the various aspects behind maybe your phone. How How is your phone connected to TikTok or Snapchat? How can you Google something on your phone? It's really important and it's really interesting to understand those things. I also think it gives a lot of opportunities to to everyone, but most importantly to young people, to have an understanding of how we get to these prob or these these solutions is really mm. important. Yeah, um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, so you're you're a woman that works in in a predominantly male orientated uh, career. So can you tell me about that? What's it like to be a woman in engineering? Definitely, I would have been in a class or in a class with predominantly men in my in my class. But I think it's so important. You shouldn't be afraid of it. I was lucky enough when I was growing up that my mom and my aunties were both engineers. Wow. But I'm import. I'm very so. I'm very eager to be a role model because when you when you see someone do it, you can definitely do it too. There's no problem. That's so true. That's so true. Thanks for that. No problem. Um, so thank you very much for coming today. I was wondering if you'd any hints or tips for any of the young people that are out there for continuing their interest in engineering. What can they do? 
I think there's definitely opportunities out there. There's lots of there's lots of YouTube videos and there's different. I think even Faroga has a tech or a technology um, opportunity. But definitely the 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 yes yes program that you're rolling out is 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 certainly one to keep in mind. I also think that even even sometimes that maths and science can get a little might get a little bit boring in school. You can definitely see other applications when you look online or on YouTube and certainly in those in those different programs where you really can reap the benefits. Thank you so much, Rachel, for joining us here today and telling us all about your career and your interests. And uh, I think we'll all be watching your, your career with interest going forward. I think you will do amazing things. So thank you. And to everybody at home, Thank you so much for joining us today and stay tuned for more interviews with fellow fabulous engineers like Rachel. Um, and so, Slán. Slán. <laughs>